the Irish Bears Handicap Chase will kick off day three then. Yet another long distance chase, 0 to 160 this time over four and a quarter miles. Sunday Mock, Thomas Rogers is at the top. Magic of Life for John Morgan, Moonsell Talon, David Robertson, Silver, David Hooley, Big Girl of Aintree, Joshua Sutherland, Ingerbird, Darren Thompson, Charlie Two, Thomas Rogers, Sonic to Dream, James Shea, Blue Penny, Martin Leadham, Endor Beginning, Craig Beckwith, Sudden Spectrum, Alex Cherry, Elevated Splover. Craig Allen and Pampalone flagship for Alex Cherry. So 13 of them then. And the rain's coming down, calling and away they go then. And it's a short run to the first. And John Morgan's magic of life is going to lead them into it. And he's run straight into the top of it and worse still for Elevated Explore, who's unshipped the pile at the very first fence. So that's one out then. And 12 remaining, and they've got to take another 23 fences. And this is the second of them, it's the first of the ditches, and they've all got over that one okay. With Endor beginning now, having taken the lead and gone on by a couple of lengths to Magic of Life in second. Then comes Big Girl of Ancient, Sonic to Dream, Moonsell Tavern. He's alongside that one, Sunday Mott and Charlie too. The grey closest to us is Silver, the back marker at this early stage of the race is Pampalone flagship as they get over number three which they're all safer to the other side of and it's in or beginning in the lead as they come down to the fourth which again they're all over slow jump by Inga Bird at the back as they take the fifth these fences coming up really close together at that part of the track they're all safely over those without mishap and end or beginning has opened up into a good four length lead then from Big Girl of Entry in second on the inside is Magic of Life. On the outside of that one is Sonic to Dream. Then just tucked in behind them is Sunday Mott. Charlie 2 is tucked in behind that one with the grey silver behind it. The Alex Cherry colours of Southern Spectrum on the outside. Then just behind that one is Moon Cell Tavern for David Robertson in those turquoise and mauve hoops. The red rum silks of Blue Penny on that one's inside. And then the second Alex Cherry Horse Pampalone flagship followed by the tail ender Inga Bird as they get over number six which again they're all over but Inga Bird doesn't appear to be enjoying the jumping very much and has run straight through the top of that one as well and hasn't got much chance of getting round if she's going to carry on jumping like that but it's end or beginning in the lead and clear racing down towards the next which is on the uphill safely over that one including the back marker is now out of shot and I would suggest possibly out of contention already as they take the eighth that's the one in front of the stand it'll be the final fence in two circuits time but end will begin it will pass the winning post on this first trip round with a lead of about four lengths and we'll hope to be there the next two times as well in second is big girl of entry who's obviously been aimed for the grand national magic of life on the inside i would guess most of these have got one eye on the entry showpiece later in the season but end or beginning he's in front at the moment by a good four lengths in the rain to magic of life on the inside of big girl of entry then a gap of about another four lengths to charlie two and sunday mock sonic to dream just behind them then southern spectrum and the gray silver Moonsell Tavern after that one and then Blue Penny and Pampalone flagship with Inga Bird about five lengths detached at the back with the loose horse elevated splore so it's end or beginning then it's a fairly decent sort of pace I suppose given the conditions and the distance it'll be a tricky four mile two fell to get this one because it's up and downhill so it's not going to be an easy trip for any of these and end or beginning is making the best of it at the moment in this long run towards the next fence leads by about three to magic of life on the inside of big girl of entry similar gap on about three lengths then to sunday mott and charlie two sonic to dream his next silver's tucked in nicely on the rail still with southern spectrum on the outside and then just tucked in behind them three chasing each other moon south tavern blue penny and pampalone flagship and inga bird is getting a little bit closer at the back as well probably only four lengths adrift now as they finally get to the ninth, which they're all streaming over. I think the bird jumping it well at the back has got a, got a racing head on again now. And end or beginning is into this ditch in the lead. All pretty safe jumps, and you'd expect that from these. They're going to be headed for the Liverpool showpiece later in the season. They're going to need to be able to jump. Just lost the one so far. Elevated Splore. Oh, that's supposed to be Elevated Splore or ele Elevated Sliplore. I don't know. It's, it's about impossible to say. We've lost another one there. And that's Sonic to Dream that's gone. So Sonic to Dream has crashed out at that one. And they get to the next very quickly. 
and then all over that one as well. Another third of what we call the right, these railway fences, similar to the ones we've got at Sandown, and they all got over the third one okay then. Same with those things, if you make a mistake at the first one, you'll make a mistake at all of them. Oh, Sonic the Dream made such a bad mistake at the first one, he didn't need to get to the other three, the other two. So, end all beginning is in front then. From Big Girl of Aintree, now moved into a clear second. Magic of Life is back in third. Then Sunday Mott and Charlie 2 with Silver behind that one. They've pulled clear of Southern Spectrum and Moon Cell Tavern. Blue Penny just tucked in behind them with Pampalone flagship behind her. And then Inga Bird, who's now probably within two and a half lengths of the horse in front, getting considerably closer, probably only 20 or so lengths off the lead as they get to number 14. Which so they've all successfully negotiated. End or beginning continues to lead, led all the way so far pretty much off from the first fence where Magic of Life led into it. That one is back in third at the moment behind Big Girl of Aintree as they come towards the next then. Another ditch, bit of a slow jump there by Sunday Mock the top weight. And that one just dropped back a little bit and the leader stood off that one and got over it well though. Uh, lead is probably down to two and a half lengths now then as they come past the ambulance uh, come past the uh, stand soon All right, for one more circuit there's the winning post we've seen them from the opposite side of the track this time so Endor beginning has passed the winning post twice in the lead we'll be hoping to do so for a third time next time round Big Girl of Entry and Magic of Life are chasing in second and third and we'll have designs on that particular feet themselves. Then comes Silver has moved nicely into fourth, Charlie 2 is fifth and Sunday Mott is sixth, then Moontail Savon, Tavern is seven and then Southern Spectrum, Blue Penny and a little bit of a gap then to Pampalone Flagship and Inga Birds. Inga Bird has now caught up with Pampalone Flagship but the others are pulling away from those two at the moment. So end or beginning then has led as we said pretty much all the way. Magic of Life is the only other one that's had a brief look at the lead and that one is now trying to make a forward move to try and challenge Endor Beginning but he's still got two lengths to make up and there's only a mile and a quarter still to go. Endor Beginning in the lead then Magic of Life second, Big Girl of Entry third and Silver four, Charlie two is five and then Sunday Mock is six and Moonsail Tavern is seven and then it's eight. Then comes Blue Penny, Inga Bird and finally Pampalone flagship. So Inga Bird's got past one now and is creeping closer but it's still Endor Beginning as they race down towards the final mile of the final seven fences in this long distance chase to start off day three of week three and it's end or beginning who's going to try and make it a virtual pillar to post win magic of life in second the field are beginning to bunch though now as they get over the 17th end or beginning in the lead being chased by magic of life moon south tavern has now moved up into a threatening looking third silver is creeping closer on the inside of big girl of entry as they take that ditch and over that one they all go and Inga Bird is running through the field quite nicely now from the back as well so Endor beginning then is now only a length clear of Moon Sail Tavern in second and Magic of Life in third then comes Big Girl of Aintree, Silver and Charlie too Sunday Mock running on a big weight look at this Inga Bird cutting through the back past Blue Penny and Southern Spectrum now as well as they take the 19th good jump there by Blue Penny towards the back but Moon Sail Tavern has jumped into the lead then as they get over these railway fences in there and it's Moon South Tavern in the lead. Moon South Tavern over in front from Endor beginning in second. Here comes Charlie too. Now throwing down a big challenge on the outside. Endor beginning to switch to the outside. Look at this Inga Bird. Inga Bird is the one who's come through on the outside now and is overtaken the long time leader indoor beginning so as they swing now then towards home with just four furlongs to go and three to jump it's moon south tavern in the lead moon south tavern has gone two lengths clear of charlie two in second inga bird running a really good race in third then comes big girl of entry in fourth magic of life is fifth indoor beginnings beaten now silver looks to be dropping away as well blue penny's trying to run on and i think we could probably forget the other three but it's moon south tavern who's gone two and a half clear over the third last gets over it nicely good jump by charlie two and inga bird big girl of entry and Magic of Life looking a little bit one paced, but it's Mo Moon Sail Tavern then. Two more fences to take, and less than two furlongs to race. Moon Sail Tavern looks to be going well in the lead. Looks like probably only going to jump these last two to win it, but Inga Bird is going to try and pull off an absolutely remarkable victory as they get over the second last, the final ditch. Charlie 2 is now challenging, Endor beginning to fall, and it's Moon Sail Tavern still in the lead from Inga Bird and Charlie 2 at the final fence. Moon Sail Tavern gets over it well. Inga Bird is trying to chase, and Moon Sail Tavern is in the lead. 
maiden racing up towards the line. He's going to hold on. And Moose Al Tavern takes it from Inga Bird, who's run such an incredible race to finish second. Big Girl of Andrews third. Charlie two four. Magic of Life five. And Silver and Blue Penny Southern Spectrum. Sunday Martin finally. Pump alone flagship. Well, take nothing away from the winner there. Moon South Tavern, but what a race Inga Bird ran right out the back, and I'm pretty sure in SO6 days that horse would have got pulled up. But Moon South Tavern's won it for David Robertson, Inga Bird is second, and big girl of entry third. So let's get the full connections then. It's Moon South Tavern for David Robertson, the winner, Inga Bird for Darren Thompson, second, big girl of entry Joshua Sullivan, third, Charlie two, Thomas Rogers was fourth, and Magic of Life for John Morgan was fifth.